So this is uh, my uh, for my for the. <laughs> now this is an interesting thing. You don't know how exciting this could be. Is that if this thing is turning by just the wind? I can show you there's wind blowing because this is turning, and uh, it's just turning on its own without a push, and uh, so. And if you've seen my other videos of when working on it was vertical wind turbine. Um, I didn't do it this way. I did it other ways for the veins. And uh, I'm rethinking the possibility if I did this vertically, this could just work as a vertical turbine. Um, this essentially is, it's uh, two cartwheels, 27 inches. I've taken some L brackets and uh, install them on the wheel um, since it's the used from the other one it's, it's uh, you know it's over and over again trial trial error if I did this again I wouldn't put the spacing on the post uh, on the things I would bolt them directly to the frame um, and that would give it some more support uh, with as the water pushes against it but uh hindsight's always a good thing i just didn't want to take it apart um, so they free spin so i've devised these ways of holding the uh the wheel to the shaft to the three quarter inch shaft and uh you know it has these very nice bearings on it uh, not sure how they're going to hold up to water because uh, when I had it set up as a vertical it did kind of seize up on me so it wasn't as removable as according to its package um, so these are made from the plastic water barrels that are common there's one right over here it's, it's easier to get two today than one and uh, this would go, the other bicycle would go up and mount to a PMA that would mount right there. But I'm thinking about making my own PMA and I won't need the, uh, the power that it's going to require to turn it. But I have a PMA to try on here maybe tomorrow. But it is, I mean it to me, well any of you guys out there that have done your own things you get really excited when something unex unexpectedly works. I just gave that a push. But, uh, you know, once I got the vein on there, it, uh, it just kind of took off on its own with the wind. It's just, uh, it's just an amazing thing. Uh, this will sit in a stream, and then it'll be an under throw. Uh, a friend of mine, Craig, from uh, Nature Solutions or Nature, he suggested going with them as paddles because if you use it like as a, as a bucket, it'll it'll make it slow it down, which seems like a good idea. So, just thought I'd give you a little update on uh, where this project is going. It's been kind of put on the side burner. So this is actually uh, the the blue barrel cut up in uh, eight pieces. Um, and then I put two pieces together because the, the span is about 40 inches. So I needed, I needed a wider. When I do the, if I do another one, it's going to be just the length of the barrel. So it'll be a little shorter, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> And it's cold here. This morning it was about 48 degrees, and it's got to be 30 degrees now, and it's cold. But that's the beautiful thing about living in the Berkshires. Have a great day.